Hello guys, in this video we want to learn how to start Swagger version 3. First we should add the dependency. If you are using a Spring Boot, it's very simple and you just need to import this dependency. If you are using the latest version of a Spring Boot, you need some additional properties to add to application.properties or your YAML file. Now you need to add a configuration for your Swagger. In your configuration, you need to define a bin from Docket and with the name of API. In your base package, you need to address your controller. And now everything is OK and you can see the results. Please notice that the URL is different from the Swagger version 2 and in version 3 the URL is like this. Now you can see that everything is OK and your APIs are available in your Swagger. Now instead of Postman you can easily use Swagger to fire your APIs. As you can see, here is the name of your controller. Maybe it is not good and you want to change this to a proper name. For doing that, it's very easy and you can just need to add tag and API annotation. Now you can see that the name of the APIs are changed and it's very easy to understand the APIs. If your APIs are secured with a token, you need to add some extra configuration to Swagger config in order to add token in header when calling an API. Here you should define the name of your API key, a key name, and define that it will pass as a header. Now you can see that this part is added. You can copy and paste your token here and the swagger will send it in the header all time when calling an API.